Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark channel. Friends, in this video, we are going to you know check in the package and extension of drive encryption. And I know so far in my previous two videos, the concept is pretty much clear for you guys that how you, you know what is the purpose of drive encryption and why people use it. If you don't know, then please go uh, and watch my previous very first and second video so that things will be clear with you. And here in this video, we are going step by step. Like very first, we'll I will show you the ways to download and check in the packages. It could be on your software catalog or drive directly from the Trellix download page. And then what is the sequence in which you will have to import those extensions and what is the use of those extensions. So everything will be very much clear in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So without further ado, let's get started after this small intro. Guys, very first, let's launch our EP open source so that I can show you the current configuration of my system. So let me sign in. Once we sign in, we, let's go to the main repository. Under main repository, there is no drive encryption agent is present, right? Let me show you the same thing by going into the extensions. See, here also drive encryption is not present. So to uh, check in a drive encryption extension and package, the very uh, you know easiest way is you can simply go to the menu and then choose software catalog. Under this, you will see lots of options available. But if I expand this endpoint security, then here you will see the drive encryption, right? Let me expand that also. And this is the packages: drive encryption agent for Windows then encryption for windows and the go these are the three packages which we require so if you want you can simply tick mark this by clicking here and then click on action and check in all okay and the second way is for extensions in extension also you will see there are total four extensions are available these are all latest version for extension also you can directly go to the action and choose check in but i personally don't prefer to you know uh, download and install package from the software catalog if you you know watch my previous series like epo dlp then you will get to know why i am not you know uh, checking the packages into the epo directly from this because there is some trust sometime happen that due to network speed or stability your package will not download correctly and you may encounter some error so in this way you may have to rebuild your epo Till now I have done this type of implementation multiple times but yeah one time I pay this issue where I have to rebuild the entire review. So make sure before you do any kind of this kind of check-in and upgradation you will take first complete backup of your EPO server. I'll pin those you know, uh, links into the i button of upper right corner as well as the description of this video. So if you want to take a backup then yeah you can use those as well as we'll provide the links to recover for the recovery which means disaster recovery. So you can make use of those if in case you face any kind of challenge okay so now let's go to the google and type trellix product download click on the very first link and this is our download uh, my products login screen scroll down and friends here you will have to enter your grand number as well as the email address so that you will be able to download the products and click on submit button and here we go we got all the product for which we are licensed. Now let me select endpoint security. Under this, you will find Trellix drive encryption 7.4. So let's click on that. Perfect. So very first we have to download is code of the day tool. Uh, guys, this particular tool is useful when you perform the recovery, manual recovery of the system. We'll show you how exactly this thing works uh, in later videos. But currently our focus is to this particular package. Let me just scroll down. See, it's a release note. If you want to go through the release note, then yeah, you can go and check out this. And this is the older version, which is released on 23rd December 2022. The version is 47.4.0.20. But since we are you know upgrading to the latest version, so we'll choose the fresh or new version that is 7.4.1.12. The size is 168 MB and it's released recently on 14 March 2023. Let's click on that. The software is started downloading guys meanwhile the software is downloading uh, i just wanted to let you know that make sure when you uh, you know uh, deploy and want to encrypt any of the machine so at that time there is no incompatible software is present on the machine 
okay that i'll show you during the policy configuration uh, but yeah just have to make sure that this system is not encrypted with your bit locker or any other third party software otherwise your encryption will not start i'm just keeping things simple so that you will get the benefit of this video and you will understand in a better way that how exactly this thing works 50 mb is downloaded now let me just fast forward this video so that the download will complete very quickly great my download has been completed now let's go let's open the folder and here is my this two softwares so let's extract 7.4.1.12 extracted perfect now let me close this previous screen because we don't need this anymore and to check in the packages very first you know import the extension guys but don't directly jump to the uh, pack uh, packages okay irrespective of your uh, insulin phase software or your upgrading extensions are always come first now click on install extension but before that let me show you what is exactly inside this folder so this is the EE tech tool okay so we don't require this now so what we will do and this third one is these are the some tools now let's go to the EPO extensions and open it so we have to import these packages one two three four and this one is fifth okay so this is optional whether you you know you can decide whether you really want to import this or not i will let you know what exactly benefits of this now let me import the package extension first choose file then extracted folder extensions and very first we'll go, you know import drive encryption admin select the zip file open and click on ok okay so these are the components will be installed when you will check in this e admin okay okay our package has been checked in you will see under data protection transcription has been added a similar way let's import the another package choose file and then transcription uh, for pc select the zip file and click on ok again ok ok this is the version perfect now let me click on ok again this is also is now added now let's import the third back extension back and then go open ok my all the three major extensions has been added on which our dry encryption software works now the rest of the things are additional fourth one is help so i will just recommend that yeah you can go ahead and install help uh, extension as well ok and again ok the checking process is very simple guys help content see it's got added here and rest of the things are under data protection now the last one which is user directory right this uh, particular extension we haven't checked in so let me tell you who can you know check in this particular extension so right now if you see then my system is you know uh, my EPO server is integrated with active directory server so that the users which I'm going to assign to my system is active directory user but in case if you don't have any active directory user and you want to uh, assign any custom user right so you just would like love you want to create one user on test one and assign that particular user to that one of the client machine and you want that the machine should always log in with that particular user like test one test two something like that you which you have created and that user is not present on your active directory then yeah you can create those user and assign to the drive encryption machine using user directory so currently we have just users user management and permission set option which is for epo control epo login right but inside that there is no other option because we here we have only two options one is the encryption users and encryption recovery so if we check in that th last pack extension then yeah, here it will again show you the user directory let me check in and show you back user directory and open let's click on ok and it's got added mm, i need to search where exactly it's got added oh, shared components here it is under shared product components is got added now if i go to the menu scroll down then user directory this option is got newly added right let's click on that and here we go here you can create 
different different uh, sub sub group and then here you can create the add the users this is very simple guys we'll test this in our later videos when we are actually going to encrypt our machine so don't worry about that now let's go to the main repository where we are going to actually import the packages click on check in package choose file and let's go back and select md software catalog very first we'll choose encryption drive encryption or pc now next where you clearly want to check in this package then it's under drive you know this particular uh, current directory branch okay and it's got added guys see trilix drive encryption for windows 7.4.1.12 again click on check in choose file then go click on host next this is also I'm going to install in current branch click on save this is also got added now only one uh, pack, uh, package is left that is go so click on check in choose file and then our last one is go select that and open next this is also we will be installing in current branch save so my all the three packages has been added to our EPO server now we are ready to configure the policy and guys once you added all your extension now then if you go to the dashboard then you will see that your drive encryption related the you know uh, default dashboards automatically comes on the if you you know this particular dashboard screen so you can always make a use of this particular dashboards currently our system is not encrypted and currently only one system is managed by EPO so that's why it's showing the count is one and the encryption status and other things are completely blank because we haven't encrypted so guys hopefully how to download the Trilix Time Encryption software from software catalog as well as from the Trilix official website and then how to check in uh, extension and package all those things are clear in your mind and I hope you will be able to independently check in drive encryption in your EPO server it could be your test or production so feel free to use this step and just follow me exactly what I did and I guess uh, that much of information is enough in this video and we'll connect in next video where I'll be demonstrating you to how to deploy your drive encryption software step by step because there is a one sequence which we'll have to follow okay don't directly de deploy drive encryption in uh, on random machine by creating client tasks there is a some process okay so don't miss my next video so let's stop here thank you so much for watching my this video and if you found this video useful then please click on the like button it's completely free guys you just have to give a thumbs up so that your this kind of response okay or comments feedback actually motivates me to create more and more video so let's stop here this is Sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye